Good evening, good evening. Welcome along to episode two of Call of the Nether Deep. Don't worry, we don't remember what happened last time either. Um, with no further ado, I hand you over to our great DM, who is two over there now. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Call of the Nether Deep. Uh, luckily, I am apparently the only person who remembers what happened last week. Uh, and so, uh, just because it has been two weeks, uh, it's been five years since we uh, since last episode, so we will do a quick recap of what happened. So, we started off with a party entering... What is the name of the city again? Because I'm... Uh, Giago. Giago. Yep, entered uh, Jigao, and all of you met up in various ways. Uh, we pondered the meaning of life with Toby. Uh, we looked at the face paints on Thea, and uh, everyone else was doing other things as well. Uh, the party interacted, they met, and all started playing in festival games. Uh, you were able to win the pie eating contest, the riddle contest, the maze in record time, the horizon-backed writing, and the swimming competition, meeting various people along the way and getting various medals. All of which do different things and look very different from one another. And so, we pick back up. Still on the docks where everyone was previously. Well, for some reason everyone's moved, but that is where we are. Uh, we are down here, and what would everyone like to do now? I'm assuming that uh, Thea and uh, Xylus are probably still, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, drying off a little bit after their uh, soak in the ocean and running away from sharks. So, I'll hand it over to you guys. Well, I know what I would like. I would like a token. I can select. <laughs> I do not have a token. I can select. Can you drag it down from your characters from the I right can. side? So then it's a new token. That's you. You should. But be now able to I have that. a duplicate token. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Of course. Um, I'm also not able to move my own token. Am I supposed to be? Able to? <laughs> well, then do the same thing. Okay. Come on. Guys. <laughs> Use your brains. Also, you're muted, James. And you drag it down from the characters on the right side. Jamal, I have no clue what you did. <laughs> oh my god. So Okay, so there's a newspaper icon, which is second in on uh, roll 20. You select that, you should have your character name, which if uh -huh. I recall correctly is Miles. Yep. You should have a char you should have Miles under characters tab. Yep. Which is like a subsection under that. Yep, I'm uh, just drag from Miles onto the deck, and you should have a token that works. Oh, amazing. Okay, we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. roll 20 is good. Right, Sometimes. so I believe there was a commotion in a different part of town? Uh, there's a commotion all over town. It's a festival, after all. I believe they were looking for some teams to do something together. Uh, some... Yes, uh, you've been told a couple times about the about the final uh, the final festival game at the end of the night, uh, which is still a couple hours off, so you still have some time to kill uh, before that happens. Uh, and Miles, since you've been here before, you will know that uh, there are two other games that you haven't done yet. Uh, so there are about two more games left. Uh, it's been a while, so it's kind of hard to remember what area it's in, but you know that there's still two unknown and unplayed games. I would like to try and figure out where those games are. I'll help him. All right. It, it doesn't take very long. Uh, you ask, you start asking around and stuff like that, and uh, a kind, uh, a kind little goblin will just be like, "Oh well, uh, if you're looking for some more games to play, there's a, there's a. Do, do you know which ones you've already played? Um, this one over here." Uh, ate some pies. They rode some turtles and tortoises. We solved some riddles. Excellently at that. We solved we, riddles fantastically. We went through oh. a maze. Oh, well, wow, you've done a lot of them already. Well, there's still about the two swimming. more. Yeah, I saw you guys do that. You, you guys did pretty well at that. Uh, there's about two more that uh, you still haven't done. Um, maybe if you're quick enough, you'll be able to finish it. Uh, before the before the final selection begins. 
Uh, and he'll sort of point off into this area. He's, uh, that one's the Wet Walk, uh, uh, festival game. It's up, it's up here. If you guys want to go up there, that's a, that's more of a team activity oh, than it is anything else. Uh, well, there's little point getting dry again to get wet again. Um, oh, no, no, no. It's not, you, you aren't going to be getting wet. It's, uh, I don't really want to spoil the surprise because it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a, it's one of the more interesting games. The Wet Walk is wet. dry. Yeah. Very good. You won't be swimming in water again. Uh, and he'll sort of look to Xylus, mm. and he'll say, uh, but, uh, I think that there's another game that you might be more interested in. Uh, oh. it's, it's, uh, it's up here. And he'll sort of point, uh, in that direction. He'll be like, that there is the call to arms. And he'll sort of like... And do you think that that would interest muscles. me specifically because... He'll pat your muscles and be like, it's an arm wrestling contest. Ah. Don't prejudge. These muscles are for lifting baking uh, materials when cooking great cakes. I mean... He, he, he looks at you puzzlingly. He's like... Ha I'm just taking the piss out of the game. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> like, walk over to Xylus and, like, put two arms on his um, shoulder and, like, lift one leg and be like, I'm the cake. <laughs> Uh, you know what? I won't judge. What is the meaning I'm, of this cake? I'm un I'm unsure myself. I would like to actually know that. <laughs> Those who aren't well, in the know well, stay hmm. not in the know. He said his arms are for lifting cakes when he bakes. Mm. I am the cake. But but you're he wants to be hoisted thing. above his head. All right, guys, come on, let's just go. <laughs> yeah, I, I go with Miles. <laughs> I'm going to the wet walk. <laughs> wet walk. All right. So as you arrive, uh, it is you guys find yourself in the middle of a uh, in uh, the middle of a rice field. Funnily enough, uh, there is a little a uh, little sign. Uh, it, and it says uh, the wet walks. Paddywhack. Uh, there you'll see two goblins. Uh, they're sort of out there uh, trying to trying to gather people to come here. Uh, and they're like, uh, "Come one, come all. Uh, test your what? What are they testing? Test your skills in uh, in the in the paddywhack competition. They seem." Uh, it seems like they've done this before, but at the same time are also a bit, like, uh, scampish about it. They, uh, they're a little bit cagey. You can tell it's, they haven't rehearsed well enough to be able to perform, like a lot of the other people that you've seen. Well, what do we need to do here? Do we see uh, anybody else doing the activity? Uh, you can tell that it hasn't started just yet, but you do see two other teams uh like gathering uh you can tell it's gonna start soon uh i'm assuming someone would go up to one of the goblins uh i'll go up to him um and i'll just like point to us as a group we want to join oh you guys want to join well of course uh they'll sort of uh count you guys up it's just like five that's the perfect number uh they'll sort of look at uh the the flaming wolf that is currently following the party and they'll say uh, I uh I don't think that you can bring that in the, to the competition. I don't uh I don't think that'd be fair to everyone. I also I'll just think pat her I... on the head and she'll just sort of disappear. Oh well, that's uh Alright, very interesting. Uh so this is uh this competition is uh We're just gonna roll with that, Phil. We're not gonna question it, we're not gonna discuss it. We're just gonna notice you pat a dog that disappeared, that was on fire, and just go, mm, okay, cool, fine, normal. Yep. With it. Great. All right. That's uh, up to you. But... There are many mysteries in this world. Nothing to see here. There are many uh, mysteries in this world. I just this is of... not one I shall expend resources on understanding. <laughs> I just lean over to Binks and, well, she has her quirks. 
All right, uh, but uh, the, the goblins will start explaining to you that this is a game of uh, gathering rice. Uh, so you uh, each will be handed uh, like a, a sickle, and you will go into the rice field, and you have about a minute okay. or two. <laughs> I'm just sort of holding this sickle in front of me like, this is what the peasants do in the farms. Surely yes. not. They're just getting us to do their farming. This is not a competition. It's just free labor. Uh, as soon as you say exactly that, the observation I was going to make. As this soon as you dead. say the go the goblins are like, "What? No, of course not. We, uh, what? That is." You mean to tell me after we've harvested all your rice, you'll put it all back? I didn't think so. It's not a free. You don't know. No. Free. We get a prize out of it. Yeah, what's the prize? Exactly. Thank you. You get one of the medals, and you also get the chance to enter one of the comp. Uh, you get entered in a chance to join the final selection. Sounds oh, pretty cool. fair to me. What do we have to do? So they'll like they'll explain. You have to go. You have about um, two minutes to go into the fields, and you have to collect as much rice as possible. Uh, and whichever team wins, well, they win. Zardis looks around like somebody shat on his shoe, but he'll look to Binks and... Do we need to win? We don't need to. It would be nice. You want to. Want everything else? I'll look to Toby and... Come on, Toby. It would seem that we have to perform our peasantry duty to make others around us happy. And, uh, it's just okay. A, a sort of I was built to be able to things. handle yes. things like this. And I'll just sort of twirl my hand around and my hand sort of a, a bladed appendage comes out from my hand you see i was built with various ideas in mind i believe harvesting rice you say mm. maybe a thing i could do yes indeed and i'll just be using my hands as a in, as a replacement for a scythe or a sickle i will just go through the field and be doing much that. All right. Well, uh, after uh, giving you guys a minute to sort of set up and get ready, uh, they sort of blare a horn, and that is that signals the start of the competition. Uh, someone roll me some initiative real quick. That doesn't matter who. I just need, I just need one roll. That is an 18 for initiative 18 all right that'll be your guys's initiative okay uh give me either a group uh, or give me either an athletics check or in a sleight of hand check i need some of both i will do athletics okay It'll be a nine for me. It's a 23. I guess I'll jump in on the slide of hand because I'm not good at either one. What was that, a nine on, James? Nine athletics. I'm great at it. Just, I'm... I had, I had a t 23 athletics. Struggling with enthusiasm. Right, 23 athletics. I had a 13 on slide of hand. All right. Uh, well, everyone's able to pick up the rice that is cut pretty quickly, but... Uh, Unfortunately, everyone's a little bit slow on the actual cutting part of it. Uh, you guys, in the first about 30 seconds, you guys are able to gather about uh, a pretty good, uh, about like a, about five like grain full of, of rice. Uh, you still have another 30, uh, you still have another minute, so give me one more athletics and sleight of hand check. It's a 20 for slide hand. That's a natural 20 for 25 on athletics. 21 Ooh. athletics. 21. All Six right. slide of hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, every everyone kind of seems to be fumbling over themselves a little bit at times. Uh, but this time around, it seems like everyone's doing really good on the, on the picking part and not so much on the actual grabbing part. But in the end, you guys are able to win wholehandedly the other two teams they you finished half the field and the other teams 
we're able to split that other half between them. So you got about 50%, the other people got about 25%. And the two little goblins will come up to you and like, be like, why? Wow, that is the fastest we've ever seen anyone do it before. Uh, here you guys go. Uh, and they'll each, they'll hand each of you uh, a medal of the wetlands. Mm -hmm. Which is, uh, it has engravings of, of, uh, she of uh, sheaths of rice and uh a lot of other just you know the sickle sort of representation from you know the farming and the cutting and stuff like that uh it's definitely not the nicest one that you guys have seen but uh you guys have already figured out kind of why this competition is here uh even if the goblins themselves won't admit it <laughs> uh with that though it I is i would say i would say we were bamboozled however it appears we knew exactly what we were getting into. We were willfully undersold. Alright, uh... I mean, just I... because it got something done doesn't mean it's, you know, deceitful. We knew what we were doing. Yes, peasant work. Indeed. That is the only reason that this isn't a... How do you call it? A scam. Because we walked willingly into this, yes? Yes, we... We sold ourselves out for a uh, shiny medal, and I'll look at Binks, and I hope you like it. <laughs> well, if the shoe fits, peasant. <laughs> Can the shoe fit? Even. I'll just raise a foot, and it just doesn't look like it would fit a shoe. <laughs> we'll get you new shoes. That sounds most wonderful. I look forward to this. I'll knock over to Miles, and uh, if you want to try yourself at the uh, call to arms. Well, let's take a stroll over there. Alrighty. It's about, uh, it's starting to get towards like 6 p.m. now. Uh, you know, some of the, like, uh, like the street lights are starting to like come on, starting to be lit and stuff like that. People are starting to wind down having uh, like dinner and stuff like that. Uh, but you guys are able to get over to the call to arms like about I wouldn't say right before it's like getting ready, but it's like they're basically they're like whoever's in line is in line, and after that it's it's you know over and stuff like that. So who all wants to try uh, at the call to arms? I know I do. All right. Oh, my eleven strength like, handbag. handbag. I have a question. Are yeah. machines forbidden from this competition? That depends on whether or not this machine was specifically designed to win arm wrestling contests. Well, I believe I could lock my arm servos, and as such, the only way to to force the arm of the machine over would be to tip the entire machine over. Sort of saying that the like the person running the contest this time around would be like, yeah, I'd prefer not. Uh, I don't want to get hit with a lawsuit. Why? Is would you stop someone with a lot of muscles from participating? No, I wouldn't. But they can't. Someone with a lot of muscles can't lock their body, making it so that the only way to move them is to pick up their entire body. Well, that depends how weak their opponent is. Then, may I propose an option? May I participate for no prize? For the curiosity of the competition, so to say. Uh, you know what? Okay, uh, but well, I want one more condition, and that is whoever you arm wrestle has to agree to do it, knowing that it is going to be a near impossible feat. I'm basically just fishing just for the head of it to have advantage for this competition, by the way, just because of locking the servos. Oh, no, <laughs> just no. So you, you know. Yeah, that's, yeah, I know, I know what you're trying to do. All right. And that's why for no reward, just for the yeah. flavor of it. Yeah. Uh, so I, I missed. So Miles, Toby, is Xylus, I'm assuming, is anyone else? Looks like just us. Okay, alright. Luckily for you guys, there are about 
three people still left with uh or doing this. Uh or who are still left so it becomes super uh even, right? So you all will have uh your pick. Who was who do you think would have been first in line to get uh for the competition? I'll just be off to decide specifically so that the person who decides to challenge me is fully aware of what they're getting into. Yeah, I'll be, be I'll just be standing there waiting to be called on. I wouldn't put myself forward. Uh, James, you muted? I think Miles and I are just standing there looking over at the competition, sort of judging right. them. Although right now I don't know what they look like, so I don't know how I'm judging. Uh... All right, so Toby, you get uh, uh, you get an orc gladiator who comes up to you, uh, and they challenge you. Uh, they are apparently the champion of this competition. So, and they've been seeking a challenge. So you are perfect option. This would be an interesting experiment. You yeah. understand what you're getting into, and you agree. Yeah, I'd be looking for a good competition. Then let us hope I am sturdy enough to be good competition. I... Still doubtful, but it'll be interesting. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Uh, Miles, a female drow, comes up to you. Mm. Uh, sort of, not like meek or anything like that. Uh, you can tell, if you've been looking around before, uh, this drow uh, fights alongside uh, their orc gladiator companion in the gladiator ring so they come up to you and they're like uh, uh i'd be wishing to challenge you well let us uh, let us have at it then i was talking to miles oh miles sorry yeah sure that's rough i'm ready to go when you are show me right. where to go uh and lastly uh Xylus. Uh, uh... Give me a second. Oh my god. Give me a second, sorry. Yep, that's what I thought. Alright, uh, an ogre comes up to you. Uh, Xylus. Well, be that as it may, okay. Uh, and challenges you. So we will start with... We'll start with Miles. And the female drow. Uh, to start... Miles, roll me an athletics check. I just used all my good athletics for the rice. <laughs> it's a 14. It's a 14? Alright, uh, the female drow. Alright, so, contest begins. Beforehand, uh... Uh, beforehand, would anyone like to make any bets on who would win any of who's going to win any of their competitions all right Not how, i was looking at how much money i had <laughs> uh yosh uh actually i think Thea would be the only one who actually wouldn't have any money coming from the wild so <laughs> it doesn't have much money to it's okay the druids gave me a little bit uh, you probably have, like, some gold around, but at the same time, you probably don't understand what the concept of betting is. So That's fair. <laughs> uh, I, d I doubt she would willingly, without anyone else being like, oh, you want to, like, bet, uh, would be going around being like, yeah, I'm going to bet five gold on uh, this guy I just met today. Uh, all right. But the competition begins. Miles, in the beginning... Uh, you guys are very hand-in-hand, hand, right? It's very going back and forth, right? Uh, but during sort of, like, the second half, the later half, she starts to pull ahead of you and is starting to slowly move your arm down. Uh, give me one more, uh, athletics check. 
Oh no. <laughs> Thirteen. And uh, and with that, the female drow will sort of grab your arm, and then you can you feel like her like basically like anchor into place, and then smashes your arm down. She's like, oh, sorry about that. That was a little bit too much force. Uh, she rolled a nat twenty, and so yeah, she, <laughs> she was able to pull ahead in that second in that second half. Uh, unfortunately, Miles. Uh, well, that that is how it is. That's how it happens. And unfortunately, the competition is closed, other than the last two matches. So you won't be able to get at it again. But with that, we will go over to Obi and the Orc Champion. Hmm. Uh, yeah. So we will begin there, Toby. Give me an athletics check with advantage because you're locking your gears in place. That would be a 14 for athletics check. All right. Uh, so starting this, you weren't expecting anyone to be able to move you. Uh, especially after you locked your joints in place. But uh, as soon as it starts, your arm, uh, you can feel the gears in the circuits starting to sort of bend as the, as the orc grabs your arm and starts pulling it down to the side with relative ease. It doesn't seem like uh, it's that all that hard for them to do it. And they're just like, I was looking for a challenge. I was hoping this would be better. Uh, give me one more athletic check with advantage. That is a 19 athletics check. All right. Uh, luckily, it seems like a lot of their early force was pushed into that first few seconds. Uh, you're able to bring it back up to sort of that standstill meeting, right? So you guys are back at the middle. No, neither one can get ahead of each other. So give me another athletic check. That is a 15 athletics All check. Right, and just like with Miles, it seems like you guys are neck and neck, but you're just able to start pulling ahead. Oh. Uh, Alright, let's see. One more. That uh -oh. is a 13 athletics check. Uh, it seems like the gr your grip on your hand, on uh, the orc's hand, is starting to like. Uh, it's starting to make them lose a little bit of strength as you're able to take it, push your arm down, you're able to beat the champion, and, uh, you win. Unfortunately, though, you did agree to do it with no prize in mind. Indeed! So you just get the satisfaction of beating the champion. But it was one of the closest, uh, matches that they've ever had before, so... That was an excellent challenge. Unfortunately, I, I feel... Indeed. It was not the most fair of challenges. Nonetheless, you were an excellent opponent. Thank you for the challenge. Thank you. And they sort of like start to like uh, move their arms a little bit. And it's a little bit of it's a little bit sore. That was a good workout this time around. Usually, no one else is able to match my strength. Your friend there, and they'll sort in. Uh, they'll point to uh, Xylus and be like. Uh, uh, I'm interested to see how he does. I believe he may be particularly strong, but that is to be seen. Oh. I too am interested to see. Just a heads up, I'm not stronger than Miles. I just, I just look after my body. Nonetheless, he looks strong. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of Xylus, mm -hmm. you come. You are the final match of oh. the night against. Uh, a 13 foot tall ogre. Uh, clearly, it seems like you weren't their first choice, but they sort of look you up and down and be like, make the best of the situation. How strong does he look? Very. Okay, cool. Um, like, they, like, she doesn't have the same muscle tone as you do, but it still looks like she has a lot of power behind her. Zinus is debating cheating, so he looks good. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Well, uh, we'll see how the first roll goes. Alright. Give me that first roll, then. That's a 15 athletics. 
15. All right. Uh, and just like uh, with everyone else, uh, you the, the match begins. It's very neck and neck at the beginning, but you just barely start to pull ahead during that second half. Uh, but it, but they're, uh, but the ogre is putting up one hell of a fight against you, though. Give me another roll. Give me that one. Oh, it's a fifteen. It's a fifteen. Well, uh, it seems it seems like this ogre was a bit stronger than you may have previously thought, as uh, they are able to pull your arm back up into that middle position. You guys are back neck and neck. Neither is able to push each other over to the other side. So, give me another roll. Temptation to use command. Um, that's a 17. Uh, is that a natural 17 or is that no, with modifier? No, 17 with a plus 3 on it. So it's uh, All 14 right. on the dice. Yep. Uh, the ogre starts to overtake you a little bit and is starting to push you down towards that side. I'll go ahead and lose Grace for me. Well, you still have. It's oh, still, I have a roll. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's still. It's like you got. You're hovering above it. Basically. No, I'm sticking with the losing gracefully. <laughs> That's a six. <laughs> that um, it's a six. <laughs> with with yes, my plus two, uh, so it's a three. Uh, three. Well, you somehow are able to push it just barely back. We've been right? trying so uh, hard and... that these great muscular titans have become whimsical, useless featherweights as our hands just... Funnily move. enough, <laughs> you're able to push them almost all the way to the end. So you guys, so uh, instead of you being on the back foot, they are now on the back foot. Mm. One last roll. That's a dirty 20. A dirty 20? Mm-hmm. All right, and you are able to uh, just barely pull out the win against them. Sort of smacking their arm down against the table. Ah, uh, a like, worthy Ow. fight! I appreciate her. Yeah, Good she'll sort of be like... Uh, pat her on the shoulder and... Well, size isn't everything, or at least that's what Binks keeps telling me. Uh, well, you did pretty good. It was, uh, very good, very close. Uh, hope to see you in the final selection. Yes, I'd imagine you will. Uh, and with that, uh, all the matches are over. Uh, so the only true winner receiving a prize is uh, Xylus, but two of the three party were able to win their match. Uh, and Xylus, you are handed the Medal of Muscle. It is, <laughs> it is made of ebony and shaped like a flexing arm. So basically it's just your arm, but a medal. As he gets given the medal, you just hear, Woo! My hero! I shall uh, go over there and then um, I shall use the other arm to pick Binks up uh, a little bit and give him a little hug and then put him back down again. <laughs> you can see that my right arm is really, it, it's, it's a bit loose. It's, uh, it's, had a, it's had a hard time. Yeah. Uh, but with that, uh, it's sort of like a, like a horn blares out and it's, uh, you hear an announcement that the games have ended. Uh, and that in a, in about an hour, the the announcements of the final selection will be uh, it will it'll be released, and you know we'll continue from there. Uh, and so you guys have about an hour to uh, grab some dinner, probably. I, you guys haven't eaten yet and stuff like that, and just to relax Very after like normal food, right? Have to see. <laughs> There's no sort of like. Has, you know, skewered raw meat. <laughs> just, uh, just eating a fish before it's been cooked. <laughs> you know? I'm gonna golem this tavern. Just walk in and just, like, grab something fresh in the kitchen. Yeah. Um, I think, well, uh, would everyone... oh. I, I think we'll all sit around and have a little bit of a refined meal. Um, I, uh... What is a refined meal? Well, you know, sort of like, um... There'll be meat and vegetables and various potatoes and, um, you know, possibly a couple of these sort of seafood side dishes as we're by the sea. Um, you know, like a proper, yeah, a bit of a fancy meal at the tavern. Yeah, we'll pay well for it. Yeah. Uh, you guys are able to find, uh, like, a, a really 
a good restaurant. Miles, you'll remember from your time living here that this was one of like the more well-known, like really good restaurants. And uh, funnily enough, it's one of the only restaurants that doesn't have a stall, mostly because they know they don't need it because they were that good. Uh, and yeah, you guys are able to go in there, sit down. Uh, it's a little bit more expensive than you were expecting, but at the same time, like it's it's not like. It's not like you all are bankrupt now. It's like everyone has to pay like a gold. No, uh, for their foods will fit the and bill. stuff like that. I'll fit the bill. Uh, and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah. So what is uh? Oh, I need my what is everyone uh talking about during this brief moment of downtime? So you can just sort of like just lock into place, huh? Yes. Essentially, every part of a moving machine is a motor and a set of cogs or other similar forms of locomotion. So, all that is required is to just lock the mechanism. And it doesn't hurt? Well, a machine does not feel pain but damage may be sustained. As such, I do need to perform maintenance on this arm, because there has been some damage sustained, but it is fixable. Nothing that some, as you would call it, elbow grease wouldn't fix. What's that? Never mind. I'm just gonna look, would not like, look at the elbows of everybody around. Never mind. You would not call it that. The others would. What would I call it? Hard work and muscle. Oh. Why would anybody call it something else? <sighs> it's a turn of phrase, dear. Don't worry. We'll pick them up as we spend time it in the It took city. me a little while to understand as well. Eventually, I believe you will do the same. Wish people could just say what they mean. You don't know many people, do you? Unfortunately, that is not the way for these beings. And I'll just gesture at the four of the, oh, the, the rest of the people here. What was that, Miles? I'm just saying, you don't really know many people, do you? No, I knew some... I mean, they didn't. I mean, they talked somewhat, and they taught me like the language. They weren't big communicators. I believe Thea is what you would refer to as a sweet summer child. You want to be careful how you phrase that one. <laughs> All right, um... and after. Oh. No, sorry, go ahead. Alright, uh, after a while, you know, you guys are relaxing, uh, explaining, like, uh, what common phrases are to Thea, and, uh, the robot <laughs> saying some questionable things. Uh, <laughs> eventually, you do hear that, uh, you do hear the same horn from before, as, uh, the announcements for the finals. Yeah, it's just like that. Except louder. And, uh, <laughs> not coming from a human. <laughs> As the announcement for the final selection is being uh, is being called, and you all are sort of, well, actually, I don't know. Miles just apparently is in the ocean now. I'm getting out of there. Uh, but uh, yes. As uh, you all are told to enter into the sort of town square that's right over there. Wonderful. Is this the time for merriment? Merriment? We don't know yet. What is merriment? Uh, making happy, drinking together, partying. Dancing? Perhaps. But I don't know if we have to do this final competition first. Why, yes. Why this place a dance battle? You'd be good in that, Pixie. Battle? 
It's... You can dance if you want. That's where you... people compete to look as good as possible when dancing, and external oh. judges decide who is better. It is no true battle, fear not. Oh, no. that sounds more exciting. Well, to, to battle while dancing. <coughs> Shall we find out what the nature of this final contest is? So we're bound to be chosen, of course. Uh, and with that, uh, uh, sort of the little stage that's been set up, uh, an elderly orc dressed in dark blue robes stands atop a platform of crates. And he smiles at the crowd, <clears throat> and he booms. Mighty warriors, brilliant strategists, you have impressed us with your feats of strength, wits, and your sturdy bellies. But the main event is yet to come. Only two teams will be chosen to compete in the final challenge, a race through the Emerald Grotto, in the depths of which the greatest prize awaits. Good job you learned to swim, fair. I got uh, pretty good at it. Mm. Seems we're going to be doing it again. With that, some sort of uh, like magic spotlights start like going across the crowd, and the first one uh, shines on a group of people that you have become pretty familiar with at this point. <sighs> uh, Is it Charles there, and Irving? I have no idea what you just said. I'm is sorry. it Charles and Irving? Is that, the, uh, is that them? No. No? Oh. Okay. Oh, well, actually, Irving is there. Okay, I've got a Charles and uh, Irving, an AO, and a... Well, there's no Charles. Gal Sariad. Gal Oh, dice. Yep. So, you see the the ogre from before, uh, during the arm wrestling contest. Oh, shit. You see the... Yep, you see the human uh, Irvin from the pie eating contests. Uh, you see a Galsariad from the poems and the riddles. You mm -hmm. see Io from the. She was the one that didn't win the swimming the... water gymnasty, right? Yep. Well, she almost got. She, yeah, almost she got won. flattened. Yep. Sure. <laughs> Uh, and then there is a little uh, goblin with them that you don't recognize, as uh, you didn't see him through any of the competitions. A little goblin. He's been busy stealing from other people's pockets while the competitions. All right, anyone? racist. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the, they're the first groups to be chosen as they sort of walk up to the stage and uh, they're t speaking with one of the elders. And the light goes around. It's it slowly starts to slow on a couple of other groups, till eventually. Well, as you guys already probably knew, shines down on your guys' group. Quickly put my hood what? right back on. Uh, yeah, there wasn't really any other no, teams we've, we've been chosen. as big what, as yours. What did you expect? We've been flipping fantastic. You destroyed every competition yeah. you were in. And then I'll so. sort of look around to uh, some people who didn't compete in as many competitions, and, well, some of us. <laughs> And so Miles puts his head up so no one recognizes it. <laughs> Come along, it's winning time. All um, right. Uh, as you sort of go up, uh, one of the elders, uh, the elder that was, the elder orc that was sort of saying the message before, will come down to meet you guys. He'll explain that uh, that they have to choose, you know, choose two races, and it's a race through a submerged grotto to retrieve a jeweled icon that has uh, symbolized the competitive spirit of Jigao for generations. It's called the Emerald Eye. Uh, the winners of the race will receive 100 gold and be hailed as the champions uh, till the next year. Uh, I look forward to it. You... I'm sorry? I look forward to it. <laughs> you all will be handed uh, a couple potions of water breathing uh, each of you will receive one, and uh, then the the elder will sort of lead you guys over to uh, where the cave uh, begins, and you guys will see that uh, you guys are walked over to over here, and uh, the elder speaks out to the crowd one more time. 
saying... Give me a second. Uh, he will say, You brave and valiant individuals have triumphed in many challenges throughout the day. The final test awaits you. Uh, and he'll pull out a, a palm-sized gold and emerald amulet from his robe. And he'll hold it aloft and declare that this metal's twin has been placed in the deepest cavern of the Emerald Grotto. Be the first to claim the Emerald Eye and return it to its place. And you shall be declared Jagao's champion. And with that, we'll say, begin. I shall look to them and in case you can't communicate under the water. Um, let's stay together. All right, I want everyone to give me a dex check, flat. Ooh. Oh dear. Yay. Um, nat 20, 23. I'm bringing us all right, down. We got again. a nat 20. Uh, we've, got a, we've got a nat one. <laughs> 16. <laughs> okay. What did Toby roll? That would be a six for dexterity check. A six, a sixteen, a nat twenty, a nat one, and what did Binks get? Uh, with my plus five, I got a seven. You got a seven. <laughs> okay, Ooh, you no. all sort of fumble and trip over yourselves, except for Thea, who and Miles, who you sort know, of it, just it was Thea's fault. After she jumped off that damnable flaming dog. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, the other, the other team is able to dart ahead of you with ease That's and as they are the first to enter the grotto once we get in the grotto are we able to breathe are you able to breathe yep like, uh, uh it's it's it's, not, it's, it's, it's like a mix water. of a submerged. Right, okay. it's so it's a mix of a submerged cage right so there are parts that will be dry and there are parts that will be wet as would have been explained to you mm -hmm. uh but i didn't do that because i'm bad uh, all right, so you all start right over here. Oh shit! Hold on a second. Sorry. Um... Over where? Yeah, we need uh, a vision added to our characters. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's second. my bad. Hold on a second. I um. Ping again. I will fix it. James will fix it. Yeah. Thank you, James. I uh... although I actually don't have dark vision. Yeah. Oh, um, which one is? That's actually a good question. Who all does have dark vision? That's all right. I'll do that as soon as I can. Just give me a second. Okay. I need to launch as not a player to do it, because I fucked up and didn't do it before. I think I can hold magic produce flame, so I'll have some light under the water. Well, it's produced flame, it doesn't say, so... Okay, bear me a second. Uh, I'm gonna, I've DM gotta, call. I've got to take a couple of minutes uh, to fix this up. Um, yeah. Zylus and Toby. Uh, Toby, uh, dark vision? Oh, I don't have access, I'm not the GM. Uh, I can... Oh, no, it's... it's it. Wait, you're not... You're not subscribed, are you? Me? No. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Well, I can... If what do you mean? It doesn't matter. Well, because it's not dynamically lit, because you don't have thingy, then it doesn't matter. We don't need dark vision applied to our characters. We just need to start in the right place. All right, and I'm assuming it's all. just black for you guys. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So you need to ping. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to. There we go. Right there. Right. Yep. Uh, who is missing? Miles is. I think. Yeah, I'll yeah, join you then, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gotta make sure. Oh, what did I see then? Okay. So! Oh. <laughs> Give me a second. I think it decided it doesn't want to work. Okay, so, in the first area, you uh, the entrance to the grotto is a narrow cavern that leads to a murky pool of water. Uh, 
when you enter, give me a perception check, everybody. Or if you want to designate one person to do just perception checks stat, I'll just ask them from now on. I'd like to designate our cat woman. Um, unless, uh... Who's got a high perception? It's going to be you fair, but, uh, no, um, I, I was thinking of, um... You as being Binks. Tabaxi, but it's Binks who's but Tabaxi. Um, no, I, I think we should designate Fair unless it's a check that requires dark vision. At which point, I think Binks and I are the only characters with dark vision. Uh, currently, uh, there is uh, there is no natural light. And okay, so, I will yeah, summon a I will summon lit. a light, um, twenty feet of bright light, um, and. Uh, and an additional 20 feet of dim light. Um, and if uh, if Fair will permit me, uh, Fair, are you carrying anything um, that I might uh, perhaps put the light spell on? Um, I mean, I have a quarter staff on my back. Great. Um, yes, I should just touch the top of her staff and uh, place a light upon it so that she is able to see, to lead us oh, clearly. Oh, right. Uh, uh, so, Fair, give me a perception check then. I shall say to Fair when I do this, uh, this light should guide you in keeping eyes out for any troubles we might seek. Uh, and with that, I'll draw my sword, and I shall watch out for more nefarious problems. Uh, 16. 16? All right, yep. Uh, you're you're able to notice that, because uh, when you guys first entered, it sort of looks like it just cut off, right? But without the, like, the murky pool, you're able to sort of gleam, especially with uh, your staff of light, that it goes under the water, right? And so you guys are going to have to swim and do some diving oh. uh, to get to the next area. Are we meant to be able to see, like, nothing past where we are? Yep. Okay, cool. Uh, because you guys haven't entered the water. I assume we'll all drink that, uh potion of water well, I, breathing didn't we have to swim to get down here i think i already did uh, no mine. oh you didn't have to swim to get down here it was it was like they walked out to where the cave was and they were like go and then the other team ran ahead of you and then where you are now is the entrance to the cave right, right okay yeah so, so uh we'll drink the potion i'll drink the potion yeah i'll drink yep <sighs> i'm kind of tempted to use my conch now i have an interesting question yes Oh wait, you're you're a metal person. I just realized. How do we determine whether I am going to shock the ever-loving shit out of everyone else around me? Uh, by virtue of say, the fact that you're not electrical, it shouldn't be. A yeah, problem. I would say that as long as you don't have like if you're uh, if say your arm got cut off right and the wires inside of you were exposed, I'd say that would uh, shock people. But otherwise, that you're completely fine yes. for swimming. So we will assume I am sufficiently waterproofed to be able yeah. to go through the water. Okay. Yes. So Jamal, just your to make everything easy. electric as opposed to powered by sort of magic? On the inside? Well, they can both be sort of entwined, yes? There's a certain level of um, both which can happen, right? You've got um, a various forms of power that can be harnessed, but if they start to have... leak out, they could be, yeah. you know... You could have a magic core that creates electricity that powers his body. Didn't it also depend on the amount of water as well? I mean, if you dropped a toaster in the ocean, not everything in the ocean is going to get zapped. That's also That's true, but everything yeah, nearby but might be affected. All right, we're not going to talk about this. We're just going <laughs> to... To make it easier, since there's going to be a lot of water during this section, we're going to say that Toby won't absolutely shock and kill everybody. So well, otherwise, it proof, so there is no That's toaster nice. ocean. Yeah, I'll, I'll let him kill Binks. All right, how's that? <laughs> Then uh, I will not need to be taking the um, potion because yeah. obvious reasons, and I shall just proceed to um, paddle those feet. All right, everyone, give me an athletics check. This is going to be uh, if you have anything to reroll or anything to add on. This is the time. I'm going to take this as your base swimming athletics for just this entire section. This will be rolling forever. Well, it appears I shall be waiting along uh, the surface at the bottom <laughs> 16 the surface of the ground sorry Darth you asked for a what check uh, an athletics check this is the base swim check for like uh, this is ba I'm basically doing this as a group check if you guys don't all roll terribly then uh... 17 <laughs> uh, what did they get I'm sorry 16 all right, you guys are moving a little bit slow. You do have a couple people who are sort of pulling the party back in this sense. 
Uh, but you guys are able to move through pretty quickly and you enter into, uh, you're able to dive underneath like the entrance and you enter into, uh, like another, uh, another part. Uh, and this, uh, like you don't, you're not able to come up, right? Cause it's the ceiling's still too, uh, low to the water, right? This is just basically you, you're swimming through, right? It is a little bit stronger. Like the current is, uh, than you were expecting, but you're able to get through with some relative ease. But you do appear at a fork in the road. So on your guys' left, there is a path. On your right, there is another path. Do we and... see any signs of where the other team went? Uh, they were able to get in ahead of you, and and they, like, you're able to see, like, partially, but, like, they're long gone, and, the and, like, the caverns are twisting, so, and you're also in the water, so there's no way to pick up, like, mm -hmm. a trail, like, uh, if, say, you guys were all on land together. Just gonna glance around, see if anybody points. Is there, is there anything we can pick up on which way we should go, or is it a complete guess? Uh, Miles, you just, like, since you have, like, you know, lived here for a while, you're able to know that, like, you're not able to get lost in the cave to the point where you'd lose. All paths are open. All paths, like, are acceptable to get you to your destination. It's more of just, depending on what path you choose, there will be certain obstacles. And then there also may be, like, shortcuts. But, again, you never participated in the... Mm -hmm in the final contest before just because it was never really your scene but everyone in the town knows what the competition is and sort of what it entails right i'm gonna point to the right and have everyone follow me that way that's my really right, confusing because by right you <laughs> mean our characters you, you're right yeah. or <laughs> yeah you're right or the map's right uh my computer screen's right. <laughs> so, okay. so, yeah, so where you guys were going. All right. Okay. Uh, and you guys appear in this next area. And uh, so the walls and ceilings of this chamber are covered in a bioluminescent algae, which emits a faint blo uh, a faint glow that dimly lights the water. Uh, you, But you guys don't need that because obviously... Uh, you have a staff of light, and uh, I'm assuming, uh, Xylus, did you, I, I know you said you uh, cast light on the staff, but did you summon, like, a ball of light to follow you guys, or just do the I staff? I can't do that. I can touch one object. Um, okay. And, I just wanted to double check uh, do and make sure. once for an hour. Um, I can't, yeah, I can't uh, summon it again. Um, so, no, All the, right. the light uh, is emanating purely from her staff, but obviously Binks and I um, have dark vision, so I'm sort of yeah quite happily to go ahead without her like i don't need her light uh so here uh as you guys try to go through like th give me a second as you guys try to go through this area here you guys see uh ghost weed that or well you don't know exactly what it Can is we smoke it uh, no, you can't, because you're underwater. Uh, but uh, you see, uh, like, you see some, like, grass-type uh, plant blocking the path, and the only way through it means that you're going to have to swim through it. Uh, who is the first to go through? Have I read uh, anything about the, these sorts she does of plants? know her nature. She does, but she was also in the mountains while this is underwater. So I will say... I will, she was in the mountains, James. She reads I, books. I, 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 I was taught by the druids. That's true. That's true. Uh, give me a nature check and uh, see if you know this. 18. 18? She knows. Yeah. Yeah, you know that uh, this is ghost grass and that when you swim through it, it will attempt to grab you and mm. basically hold, hold on to you. It's not like a plant like a venus flytrap where it's going to try to eat you it is just like a reactionary it grabs like it just it's just going to grab you and there uh if you're fast enough uh or dexterous enough you're able to get past it with relative ease or if you're just a big fucking brute then you can probably just rip yourself out of it i'm gonna sort of just mime at them like it grabbing and just miming like swim really fast uh with a potion of water breathing am i able to cast spells underwater 
Give me... Uh, it's, it's not to do with that. I'm just... Uh, I, I need to actually read the potion. Uh, she says you can breathe underwater. I would say give me, like, uh, like a base well, there's, I have, like there's magic a verbal, modifier. There's a verbal component to my... Well, no, I'm stuff. trying to... I'm saying give me, a like, a straight whatever your modifier oh, is like magic check to see if you can... Yeah, to see if you can control your magic enough that you're able to cast That's a it underwater. 24. <laughs> yeah, you're able to... <laughs> Quite good at charisma. <laughs> they, you're able to get the basics of it down. You're not going to be able to cast anything super okay. complex. I would say, at best, you're able to do, like, cantrips and maybe one level one spell. Yeah, well, I'm casting a level one spell. Um, I'm going to place a bless uh, upon myself. Uh, probably... <sighs> I definitely think I'd cast it on... I, okay, maybe I won't cast it on myself. I'd definitely cast it on Binks. There's no way I wouldn't. Um, and then probably Miles and... How dexterous does Thea look? Thea, do you probably, look dexterous? I mean, she looks able. Okay, and then I'll put the third one more on able Toby. than the robot. I'll put the th yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll put the third one on Toby. Um, so Toby, yeah, Miles Toby's and Toby's kind of just walking on the bottom of the... <laughs> of the cave, and he's just sort of walking along very parts of the Caribbean yeah. style. Um, so that's a D4 to any saving yeah. throws and checks. Uh, any saving right. throws, not checks, sorry. Just saving throws. Uh, and attack rolls. How uh, much is that on? A D4 on, on D4? saving throws and uh, attack rolls. Yeah. Um, uh, Alright. Everyone give me a dex check. I'll tell you if you... Is it a check or happens. a save? How a uh, dex save, I'm sorry. Okay. My apologies. Oh, good. Okay. So I, I just uh, just cast a bless. It better be a fucking save. Uh, <laughs> every single one, or is bless only once? It's every single uh, time blessed. you roll a saving throw or attack roll in the uh, next minute. Yep, yep, for the next minute. Okay. Look at those d4s. Um, that's pretty. That is a twenty-five dexterity <laughs> save. I got a dirty twenty. Got a twenty-one. Fifteen. All right. Uh, yep. Yep. Got a nineteen. Oh. You got a nineteen. All right. Yep. All of you are able to get past it completely fine uh you do sort of as you are passing into the the next area you do sort of start to hear a little bit of commotion coming from the above ocean? you you'd say no <laughs> coming from above you you'd think it's it's kind of hard to tell Oh, uh, like because again, you're underwater above right? us, not like up on the map. Straight right? up, yeah, straight yeah, above okay. you. If uh, I'd say who was who got really good on their decks, Jack. Lost Miles. Uh, I got yeah. twenty one. Uh, yeah, I, I, Miles, you were probably the one who was here, like who got through quickest first. You would have been able to briefly see someone swimming above you guys, clearly taking another path, right? But it does mm -hmm. seem like they're they're a little bit ahead of you, but it doesn't seem by very much, right? Mm -hmm. All right, in this next area, uh, the tunnel opens up into a cavernous space. Rays of moonlight shine through the wide cracks of the ceiling, which sit 10 feet above the water level. One side of the cave is covered in the crumbled, muddy remains of a landslide. As you swim through this area, ripples course through the water as more rocky debris begins to slide towards you. So as you guys entered, right, it is, it is clear that a rock slide has just happened, right? And you can, and from what you guys can see, it's about in like this area-ish here, right? Uh, and so you guys have to be careful when you're moving through here, not to disturb it too much, or else the rocks may start to fall down again and cause another mini landslide. So give me, uh, give me a dexterity save. Everyone or just Miles, sorry? Uh, everyone give me, everyone give me one. Uh, just making it, this is for specifically. <laughs> oh my God. See how well you're moving through this. That's a 27. I, I hate to break it to you, Darth. I think we're making it through totally fine. You make it through completely fine. Uh, <clears> throat> 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 um, yeah, I don't know about that uh, once you get there. <laughs> no, not one. We it's got okay. two nat 20s. We have we'll two you. nat 20s to make up for your nat 1. <laughs> Alright, uh, the group <laughs> itself isn't slowed down, but Thea, as you sort of fly into the room from the other room, right, you notice it, but you notice it a little bit too quick, 
or you notice it a little bit too late as a couple of the rocks start to fall down you take uh 10 points of bludgeoning damage just as a couple of the rocks start to fall and slide around you. Yeah, she's still fine. Like, I'm going to use my uh, reaction to take away some of that damage using my psionic power, Protective Field. All right, how much does it take away? Yeah. 1d6 plus 4. Ooh. All right, uh, give me uh, a per. Give me an investigation check. Uh, somebody. Uh, Miles, Miles, give me an investigation check since you were the first in the room. Oh Tom no. It's like our investigation it's a, bitch. It's a nat one. That's a nat one. All right, you have yeah. no idea how to get out of here, but you're avoiding the rocks. Uh I am the uh investigation I'd say, yeah, bot. I would say so like... Toby was the next one who uh give me an investigation check. That is a 19 investigation check. That is assuming I can use the uh bless for mm -hmm. checks. No, yes. you cannot. You cannot. Oh, okay. attack rolls yeah, and saving so throws. 15 investigation check. Either way, you're able to figure out that the entrance is somewhere over here, but more importantly, you are able to notice that a little bit through the rubble, right, especially with you being on basically the ground floor, uh, that you're able to see into a little cave, uh, and you're able to find, uh, you'd have to, you have to like move a couple of like the rocks aside, but luckily it's not completely like caved in yet. Uh, you're able to find a potion of healing. And a soggy spell scroll of Thunder Wave. I shall add these to my inventory real quick. Yep. If D&D Beyond will cooperate. A regular potion of healing, yes? Yep. Just a regular old potion of healing. And a scroll. Yep. Uh, what level spell scroll again? One. Uh, yeah, just a, it's just a spell scroll of Thunder Wave. Mm -hmm. I'll just rename this to Thunder Waves for all. Thunder Wave. Okay. Uh, but yep, you guys are able to know that. Sorry, uh, did I take any bludgeoning damage or was it just fail? Uh, what did you get? A six. Oh, yeah. You actually also <laughs> took it. I, sorry. I, I assumed this much. I just, uh, I know that. I, yeah, I, just didn't, I didn't hear your save. You if take. They, I say five for you if they have five health there. Thank you. I looked at. Uh, uh, you take Vier. 11. I looked at me and Vea decided that we were fairly dexterous and we'll be absolutely fine. Gave less to everybody else and then we rolled like <laughs> two shit. people. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, oh, dear. Uh, you take. Did you hear what I said? Mm -hmm, 11 uh, you damage. take 11. Yep. Uh, and you all are able to make it. Uh, you're able to f you're able to find the next room and make it. Are we still underwater? Uh, yeah, all of this is underwater, which is why they um, gave you the potions of water breathing. Seeing um, Xylus here, I'm going to use one of my key points to heal him. Oh, of course, because you can do it silently. Love a bit of that. And water. that's uh, five healings. Alright, good. You, uh, I just give him a sort of little smile under the water. Alright, uh, but you all are able to make it into the next room, which is right over here. You're able to swim across. Uh, you're, uh, you're specifically uh, Miles you, uh, actually no, it wouldn't be. Uh, Toby, you're able to see just like Miles did before, you're sort of able to see and Sorry, sort of Sorry, where did we go? That uh, over here. Over where? Oh, okay. Above. Yeah, yeah. The, the, there's still fog of war in the middle, so it's, uh, yeah, I hadn't... Yeah, ah, yes. No, it's okay, it's, it's okay. I just, yeah, uh... Was... It's a weird path to... I'm un, super uh, zoomed in because I think it makes it more immersive for the stream, so... Um, no, no, that's ah, how I, I, missed get it. It. I get it. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, as you all swim here, you, sw uh, you see a school of tiny fish. Fishies! Their bodies shimmering in the dim light. Swirls... In a formation like in like a silvery pillar. Uh, uh, Thea, give me another nature check. Int based, because I definitely wouldn't have seen this, so 12. Well, uh, you're able to tell that this is a it's it's a school of fish, you know that for sure. Uh, you don't know what kind it is, uh, just because you've never seen anything like this before, but what you are able to tell through your druidic instincts is that these aren't <coughs> going to be, uh, they're not going to be chill. They're going to be hostile. 
this may be a problem. I, I'll sort of. You're able to. Some, we're able to somewhat speak, yeah. Um, uh, it's not you? like it's through bubbles because we're underwater, but we can breathe with the potion. So. Yeah, it's just uh, no one has no one has message, right? No. Right. I think uh, one of us had the ability to speak into someone's mind. That's true. I can't do that. <laughs> someone definitely did that at some point in this campaign okay. before. Was that you, Thea? Uh, you're Kalistar, right? Uh, is that what it was, I think? Yeah. Yeah, cool. But um, I can't do it with multiple people, though. No, you can do it with one person, right? But she's made clear gestures. We know that these bitches are uh, angry. Um, Heads up, angry fish. Uh, Josh, yep. uh, you're breaking camera. And I really, really don't want to have to fix it, darling. Thanks. That and, um, in all fairness, I believe a robot with a speaker system for a voice box. Oh, we know that we can hear you. I was, to... I was making yes. the point that we can speak back. you can't say anything else, right? And yeah. you wouldn't. And also, you're not the one with the, the nature knowledge, right? So yeah. No, that's also you, true. You could probably figure it out, though. Well, but yeah, we'll so... Uh, is but I can at least say, this is going to be a problem. Yeah. Is there anyone who wants to attempt to, like, do anything to them? I'll attack um, them. I okay, have do... an idea. Um, I do believe that Xylus swimming up and attacking them may put him at risk, though. You see, my conundrum is... I wasn't going near them. My only form of being able to do damage is Spark. Now, How about lightning, no? underwater, yeah, I, believe gonna... if I, swing up, I believe if I swing up point blank to them, I can shock all of the fish. Yeah, but, but you'll be shocking yourself. My companions may be um, in trouble. Well, I'll, I'll live. When I say I'm going to attack them, I did mean from, like, a mile away. I'm a sorcerer. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I had no plan on going into melee range. Um, I thought big muscly person would be swinging up to them to just oh swing through them. As I said, just because I look pretty drift. doesn't mean that I'm... Yeah. I yeah. apologise, I misjudged you, companion. <laughs> uh, Darth, can I target two mm -hmm. separate ones in this um, fish so shoal? Like, or is does it for you count as one enemy? It does, right? Uh, it's a it's a swarm of fish. So it's a single enemy, right? yeah. Yeah, so it's a so okay. it counts as a single. Enemy. Um, yeah, I'll send through a uh, a burst of radiant light upon them. Um, and uh, what are you casting? I'm casting celestial burst on them. Celestial burst. Uh, that's mm -hmm. a twenty-one to hit. That will hit them. Yeah. Cool. Uh, they can take a uh, four radiant damage. Or radiant damage. Okay. They uh, yeah, they didn't like that. You kill you kill off one of the fish that's in there, but there's still many more. And uh, after doing that, they turn and see you guys, and uh, will start swimming towards you. And uh, you all are just uh, you. They just start wildly hitting. And so this is going to be a little bit different. But I'm going to roll an attack roll, and I just want you to... T uh, I'm going to tell you what it is, and whoever is low enough gets hit. Oh. Okay. Because it is a swarm. Uh, that is a 15, so does that hit anybody? Yeah. If it makes a difference, I don't know if it does, I would try to get, put myself between everyone and the fish. Uh, if you Yeah, if you, if you swam up, the fish are basically going after whoever is closest and since right. you're all just huddled in a group that's why they were originally going after but if it's someone was up there yeah i would right, i would put myself then, between everyone else then they would straight just go after you then uh, i think binks is doing the same all right so then it'll just be binks and miles then okay. so does a 15 hit either of you uh no no all right and they got one more which uh yep that won't hit either so uh I will say, Binks and Miles, you guys can make, like, attack rolls. It's underwater, so it's going to be a little bit harder for you guys. Uh, but I will say, for now, just you two make an attack roll, and then I'll go to everyone else and see what they want to try to do. <laughs> do swords work underwater? Or is it just, like, a punch? I think it's disadvantage underwater. Yeah, underwater, you'd, uh, you'd be swinging at disadvantage, unless you're used to swinging. Uh, it's it's actually, actually, unless you've got a swimming speed. I'm gonna pick up one of the dead fish and slap the other fish with it. Um, that's a twenty-two to hit. Uh, did you roll with disadvantage because uh, you're underwater? That's a nineteen to hit. I mean, you <laughs> still you you still take it and you smack him with it. You had a fourteen. Yeah, that was disadvantage. All right. Uh, you're still both able to. Uh, you're still both able to hit them. 
Uh, Miles a little bit barely, but uh, Binks, you're able to slap him. Uh, give me damage for each of you. That's seven bludgeoning. Okay. That is thir 13 slashing. All right. They, uh, you have managed to single, both of you single-handedly take out about almost completely all of them. There are only a couple fish left, uh, but they're still going after you guys. Does anyone else want to try to make and uh, do any attacks uh, before the fish are able to I'll swim throw, away or do what they're making? I'll throw another holy burst at them. All right. I would like to, but I don't have an option to. Yeah, I, I wouldn't let you if the only thing no. you have is spark. Well, you might I'm have. We're gonna like... pull out a produce flame and see if it lasts at all in the water. <laughs> Uh, give me, uh, just like I'll, I'll say the same thing, just like with James, give me, uh, uh, straight wisdom, whatever your magic modifier is, oh. give me a base roll for that. Well, that's 24. That's exactly yeah, what I got. <laughs> yeah, you're able to control, and you're able to cast cantrips and level 1 spells in the water, which I think is all you have, but... It was a nat 20, if that helps. <laughs> uh, a nat 20 on the roll or the attack? It, on, on the, on the roll. All right, yeah, you're able to completely use all of your magic underwater perfectly fine. <laughs> you, you have no, like, nothing stops you whatsoever. I like the idea. I don't know if this is true for you, Laura, but for me in my head, like, Thea, she's not been underwater trying to use magic before, so she's not even considered that it might not work. <laughs> she's just, like, 100% she confident, like, yeah. her magic works up there. Why would it not yeah, work that's down actually, here? Like, that's exactly absolutely. how it is. <laughs> Say it just never it's just like oh what like everyone else well, is like water stupid, oh it's right? harder it's... for me right but they is just like no i'm just gonna cast my magic like why would it not work underwater uh, she's so the stupid, 23 but... to hit she's... that's a 23 to hit and what'd you get james uh i didn't uh, i don't know if it was my turn to roll uh... Uh, i was saying I, I was asking the party as a okay, whole so my 20 is oh, still uh, rolling yeah i will um try to skewer them with my blades on my hands what did you get, James? A nine? Yeah, a nine will miss. It kind of whizzes <laughs> past. Uh, give, uh, Toby, you can give me an attack roll with disadvantage since you're trying to use a weapon. And That's a, a no, a seven. <laughs> Alright, that also misses, and that was a, tw a dirty 20 from Thea, correct? Uh, 23, but it's two damage. Uh, two damage? Alright. This all right. is whole yep. shoal uh, of fish, and all we can do is manage to, like, catch that one tail with one hit? Well, oh, there were, like, four left, and now they're, like... Now there's like two, That's so uh, yeah. If I were so... allowed, I would have electrified all of them. But hell yes. no! <laughs> keep your electrics to uh, yourself. Now that T Toby is there, uh, the the last two remaining fish will sort of just swim around, biting everybody. Does a seventeen hit uh, Binks, Miles, or Toby's armor class? Yes. yes. <laughs> all of you are hit. All right. Mm, and. I'm not, I'm not. You're not? Okay. Uh, that will be... Let me just double check. That will be... Ooh, that's nine damage from the from their first. And their second one is a 21 to hit. Yep. Thanks. Wow. Uh, does a 21 hit? Yeah. Okay. Alright, and then that will be 11 damage on, uh, on, that, on their second bite attacks. And I'll yes. say, uh, Toby, Miles, Binks, you all can make attack rolls at disadvantage now against the last two remaining fish. That's a no. All right, that's I'm, a no. It's a 16. Okay. Uh, Miles? I'm, I'm going to bonus action first and uh, use second one. All right, that's fair. Gain some uh, Binks, give me your, yeah. Binks, you're able to use the fish like a nunchuck and kill the last two fish. <laughs> Uh, and with that, you've killed all the fish, so thank you for that. Onwards uh, and upwards. How is everyone looking after that? I'm going to skirt my way around to Toby, and I'm going to do a cure wounds on this robot. Because I don't care what he says, I'm going to heal him. Uh, mm, uh, I, yeah, sure. No, I think that same thing with the magic not being able to work underwater. I think uh, Thea wouldn't have any idea that... Maybe magic wouldn't heal. No, it's alright. I've wounds. just realized I haven't got enough uh, points to do that. I was thinking that I might be able to, um... 
play on hands? Uh, no, to twin spell my cure wounds to heal them both, but I'm not level two in sorcery yet, so I can't do that. Um, mm. Or level three, I think it might even be. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah, three I will meta. be able to maintain my integrity. Too late, I already did it. Uh, Josh, what did you say? Okay. I was just going to say I'm going to use my life <laughs> to heal myself. Okay. It'd be eight points if it works. All right. Uh, Does it work? It does work, because she has no reason to believe it wouldn't. Uh, not only that, but uh, it, the rules for uh, robots and artificer items is that uh, they can be healed by magical means, but they can't always be healed by non-magical means. So a good berry won't necessarily yeah. give them one HP, um, but all like cure wounds and stuff like that. Unless stuff wants to roll it differently, those are the standard rules. I would not around. want to. That would make everything more difficult. So <laughs> Then yes, yep. some of the, then yes, the magic The only thing that fresh cut grass can't together, get healed by is magic. a healer's kit. So, I would assume that it's right. exactly the same thing. Uh, but after that, you guys are able to swim into this next area. Nice token. Uh, Duff, are we, uh, mm. are we going straight through and having a shorter session, or are we going to have a five at some point? Mm, uh, that depends. Jamal, do you need to... Are you going to have to leave early? Um, I think the latest I can do is, like, two... Th- Dirty. I have I don't, no idea what that I is. I don't know if Josh is even going to make it that far. Josh, you need to stop by two, really, don't you? Josh? Hello? Joshua? Joshua! Yeah, at like the latest. Cat lover. Two, at, two at the latest. What time is that? We've got 45 minutes. Let's keep going. Yeah, got 45 minutes. Yep, okay. uh, then, yep, we're just going to keep pushing through this. Uh, as you guys. It's for reference, oh, he's got work in seven hours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, no, no. Cool. So, uh, the silvery light dances along the walls of this underwater cave. The water is a little warmer here, and a gentle current pulls you towards, uh, the south wall, which emits a shining gold light. Prowling the cave, around the cave's pillars, is a massive shark. A gold amulet hangs from a thick rope tied to the shark's body. Uh, give me a perception check, uh, Thea. My bless is right now, by the way. 21. 21? Yeah. You're able to immediately clock oh, the... Press that. All right. You're able to immediately clock that the thing tied around his neck is what you're here for. It's the amulet. Uh, but this shark does not look like he's willing to... Uh, it's not like he is willing to give it up t- uh, for free. So I will like everyone to roll initiative. Can I try and can I try something beforehand? Uh, depends on what it is. I would like to attempt to command it to come here and stay still. In fact, I, I would get one say or the other. I get one or the other. I would. Um, I will command it to bro- to grovel. Well, it wouldn't be able to do that, but of course also, it can. I it can say- bow its head to me. I would say that under the water. It would be it like the sound of your voice wouldn't travel far enough for it to be able to hear you. It also has a spear in like lodged in its back, right, cool. so it doesn't seem like it's very much. It, it doesn't seem like it really wants to do. Uh, yep. The whole Fair like initiative being is. nice thing. Bang! Now twenty easy. Just get good. <laughs> What's your dex? Uh, it doesn't matter. Now twenty always goes first. Well, no, I mean, so I can put it into the thing, so that way, I, afterwards... I rolled it, it's 22, it's there. Alright. Um, do we... What did they get? 18. Don't... 18, alright. Darth, do we have some uh, music switch? Or, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna do that yeah, in a cool. second, I was just setting up my That's combat okay. tracker. Nice. Well, me and Binksy are... Yeah. Yee. There we go. Alright, so the first to act is Silas. What would you like to do? I'm uh, going to... Uh, Binks, uh... Oh, wait, uh, before you do that, I'm, I'm going to say Binks, I'm going to have you start back a little bit uh, farther, just because I wouldn't say you would swim straight up to the shark as soon as you entered. You don't know my Binks. Um, <laughs> probably, right, well, I'm not he's probably like said juicing that shark, shark by then. now. Um, 
Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna sort of go up to it, and you see uh, uh, my hands sort of glow with a slight holy light um, as I will attempt to force the power of my god into this beast. Um, I'm casting Inflict what are you Wounds, casting? and inflict that wounds. will be a dirty 20 to hit. Uh, that will hit. Okay. Um, oh, I've never needed this many D10s. I'm so excited. I've wanted this spell for so long. Don't worry. Soon I'll be casting it as a bonus action and smiting. Um, oh. That's not... Oh, never mind. That's a nine. Um, 13 radiant damage. 13? Yeah. All right. It seems... Uh... Eh. It seems generally uninterested. Un it seems more interested in the fact that uh, you have blood coming out of you, if anything else. Why do I have blood coming out of me? Because you got bit by uh, some fish. No, I didn't. Uh, then you're missing. You're missing health. Yes, I got hit by a rock. I'm just oh, that's to... true. That's true. Yes, um, but that's okay. Oh, and uh, yes, I don't think right now. Um, yeah, I've got no bonus action, uh, so I will. Uh, I think I guess I'll stay in melee range. Right. Hoping that uh, Binksy will come and flank it with me or something. All right, uh, Binks, you're up. You're muted. Okay, um, I'm gonna go around it to flank. All right, all right. Um, does that mean I just roll normally? I would I say roll. roll straight for now, just because. Flanking is a thing, but at the same time, you're also in the water. So for now, yeah, we'll straight we'll until advantage. it starts moving. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. That's what I said. Oh, yeah. I'll just throw a punch. That's a 21 to hit. That will hit. And then that's uh, 7 and um, bludgeoning damage. All right. Again, seems genu uh, it seems unfazed. And again, it seems more interested in... Uh, the wounds that you have, uh, rather than the punch you just did to it. Uh, is, will that be all? Yeah. Josh, uh, you can make an attack as a bonus action. Without key points. Yeah, I can. Attack. Yeah, you one get attack. one attack as a bonus action for free, or you can spend a key point to make it two with Flurry. Oh, great. I'll give him a quick kick to the shin. The shin! The shark! The shin! The shark with a shin! More like a quick the kick shin. to the fin. That's getting, yeah, so that's getting added. Shark with a shin. Uh, yeah, so that, that'll miss as Binks kicks for the shark's imaginary shins and misses. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah, it probably didn't hit because it doesn't have a shin. Yeah, that, that seems about right. Uh, it is now the shark's turn, though. Uh, and it seems very interested in... Seems... Toby? Yeah, it seems... <laughs> uh, no, it seems very interested in Miles. Toby doesn't have any blood. Can't smell Toby. Oh, Miles is bleeding? Uh, oh, I'm bleeding. Is... Those yeah. fish got me. Didn't Those fish him? got him. I thought we healed uh, him. Alright, well, I'm not... Not bad. It, it has a mechanic that... No, 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 you're fine, you're fine. Go ahead. Yeah, Anybody so who's not full will... health, I know. I'm not full health, so it's... I Yeah, I would understand. Uh, Binks, you're able to get... If you want, you can use your reaction. Get an opportunity attack. Z uh, Xylus, you will not, as it stays in your range. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will do that if my cat just didn't close down my good chrome. <laughs> I saw that! <laughs> I literally saw your face as she moved. <laughs> Stupid animal. All right, we'll come back to it though. Just I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay. Uh, that's a twelve to hit. It's gonna miss. All right, you're still aiming for those shins, so you still miss. <laughs> All right, uh, Miles. Uh, does a dirty twenty hit? Sure does. All right, it. Alright, it deals 25 damage. Oh shit. Oh. Excuse me? It's a good As thing it, I have. Why did it hit you, not me? Uh, because he was missing more health. Oh, I'm Miles going to hit. use something to make sure I don't go down right now. Alright, go ahead. The same thing from before, I'm going to use my reaction. 
Two less in it? Yep. Uh, yeah, protective field, so it'll... Go ahead. 1d6 plus 4. Alright, so you'll stay up for sure. Uh, but also, the reason I went after him is because he is... Eight. He got bit by the Yeah, no, it, it makes sense. Fish, I'm just, blood, like, you know. I just felt bad that it hit him, not yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Because no, he nearly died. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> it was going to go after Toby, but Toby is a robot. He doesn't have blood, so... Uh, fair, but that fair. is its turn. Uh, Thea, you are up. Um... Mm-hmm, I had a plan, and then it changed, so I'm just gonna <laughs> run over here, and I'm died. just gonna <laughs> Karoon smiles, because I'm a heel bot now, apparently. Um, if there, you will know, by the way, that both, um, both, uh, myself and Binks do have the ability to also help Miles, and are perhaps less effective in direct combat, yeah, but if at Binks some point you wish to not do the healing. Hitting. Yeah, um... It was a good roll, though, so 17 points of healing. Okay, never mind, you can do the healing. How are you doing 17 <laughs> points of healing in this level? I'm second level. Oh, of course, because, yeah, I'm multi-class, that's why. Yeah. Just like that, I'm back to where I was at before the shark. I was going to say, it's like nothing <laughs> even happened. <laughs> uh, will that uh, be your turn? Uh, yeah, because, like... Well, I'll bonus action cast Shillelagh. I don't know if it's going to do any good. But I'll have it ready. All right. I have out no of idea curiosity, um, does your wildfire spirit does it manifest underwater? Is that a thing, or is it like a? Null? She could. She could, right? Okay. Um, but I'm yeah. assuming that's an action to do, though. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, but uh, if that's it, then uh, Miles, it is your turn. After being chomped almost completely <laughs> in half. Uh... All right. I'm going to swing away. I would say, uh, no, I would say, I would say you get flanking, but I, Silas is the one who's flanking, not you, so. But it is also claw, or jaws are cl clamped on your body currently, so, uh, am I, give me your roll. Am I at disadvantage? Uh, no, uh, I'll say you're at advantage, or not, straight cancel roll. out. So straight just, yeah, just do a straight roll. Just because it is on top of you, so the chances, so you missing it is, uh, would have yeah, sense. I missed. I missed. Um, uh, is that a net although, one? it was a four. But I'm going to use... Uh, uh, I don't know your name. Um, Matt, uh, you seem to have rolled a d6. That four? Is it oh, says a d6. <laughs> I probably... Uh, on, no, no, no. I rolled a nine. I rolled a nine. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, it it, it seemed a, like it yeah, was yeah. very delayed from being yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> No, no, yeah, I missed. I'm going to use action surge, though, and... Right. Yeah, boy. All right. Go on, Miles. You've got this. Come on. Come on. That is a fifteen. Woo! All right, a fifteen will hit as your yeah. first. Sw you swing. You're still injured from uh, you know, the shark almost immediately killing you, but you're able to sort so, of plunge it down. How much damage do you do? Eleven plus. I'm going to enforce it with a psionic strike. Oof. Although that also has to. Wait, it has to hit also? Uh, Sonic Strike is uh, just a. It replaces your attack, right? If I'm correct. No, it adds damage. Uh, then I uh, assume. No, no, I that... like. It, because it's on hit, it has the to hit modifier as if you were making the attack. I think you just apply Yeah, I was gonna oh, say. Right. That I, it's like that a smite, I think. Uh, it's kind of like Static Bolt, if I think. When. The way you're describing it. The, well, static so how much extra damage? Uh, so I. Yeah, once on each of your turns after you hit a creature, mm -hmm. you can do it. Yeah. yeah. Then, yeah, you don't have to roll to hit then. Uh, well, roll to hit again, anyway. Uh. Uh, is it still rolling for you, Matt? Oh, no, you didn't hear that. Sorry, it was. It should be 18. 18 damage altogether. 18 damage altogether. Okay, so that's an extra yeah. 7. Yeah. Seven it, it's seven. just, it's, you f you froze for a second. That's, uh... Oh, yeah, my yeah. Uh, D&D Beyond just... Can we take a moment yeah. to acknowledge Coming. that there's a backpacker in our turn order? Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, Who brought hey, baggage? He's, he's gonna leave. Uh, Toby with the baggage. 
Uh, Miles, if that's your turn, then uh, Toby is. My t- yeah, my turn's over. All right, Toby, you're up next with the baggage. Okay. <laughs> um. Now, I have a question on how we're going to rule this, because this is a spell I don't know if you would allow to work underwater. Uh, let's hear the spell, and I'm going to make you do the same check as I've made everyone else do to see how well you can use your magic underwater. Okay, so specifically it's Tasha's Caustic Brew, and the reason I say this is because it's shooting a jet of acid. I feel like I'd have to swing, I'd have to swing, swim, like, right point blank to the thing, and I don't I know whether say... the acid to everyone else is going to be a problem. I would say point blank, you'd have to do it, but also give me uh, your ability check to see how well you can control your magic underwater. Is he using magic? First. Does Toby use magic, or does he just have mechanical... It's like, essentially what I would be doing is uh, launching a... Um, I'd have like a uh, plumbing network, um, sort of, from my artifice creations it's, itself. Jamal, sort of like, keep it as simple okay. as it's robotic, it's, yeah? Yeah, essentially, yeah, it's a robotic that, then. system. Then, then, yeah, you're able acid, to yes. do it. You're able to do it. You'd have to do it point blank, I'd say. Uh, and I would say, like, when I say point blank, I mean basically putting it on there if you don't want it to hit anyone else. Yeah, I would be doing it absolutely right in the shark's face. Did I give you Caustic Brew? I did, right? Yeah, I mean, I know, that it's not, I know it's not relevant for this, but you have, like, yeah. that, oh. right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Alright, uh, so, what is it? Uh, is it a save? Roll I think the hit. Gave it. Yeah, a dex, uh, DC 13. Uh, uh, actually, no, I, yeah, I do have kind of Tasha's Caustic Brew, you yeah, yeah. Cool. So, I need to make a dex save. Yeah, DC uh, 13. 19. Okay, well, never mind. It just, um, does nothing. Alright, I would also say, give me, roll a d20 for me. You want to roll above a 10, I'll say. Uh, you acid this... me, then we ain't friends. This uh, yeah, is rich. That's an eight? Yeah. All right. Uh, then, uh, I hate to say this, but Miles do and you Silas remember, give me a Do you remember Lucius' cloak? Mm. Yes, I do mm. remember Lucius' cloak. Mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Can I make hey, my alternative yeah, is to strike the thing with lightning. I'm and, a reaction um, punch yes. him in the face. Uh, <laughs> Alright, give me a roll then. No, no, no. That's not um, how that works. Uh, uh, I, rolled a six, 16, I rolled a 16 on the save. Oh, we both rolled a 16. There you go. Alright, yeah. Amazing. It's, you both are able to dodge it. You don't get hit by it. Damn uh, straight. Yeah. Alright, but I'm assuming that's your turn, Toby? Uh, yeah, because I cannot do very much underwater. Yeah, you're kind of, you're kind of effed in the A, but speaking of... Xylus. It's your turn. Hmm. Am I going to hit the shark or the fucking robot? Uh, <laughs> I said the shark who almost killed one of your party members uh, in one hit. Am I flanking? You are flanking, yes. Fantastic. All right. That is a 23 to hit. That will. Um, I'm going to guiding bolt him. Uh, hopefully Ooh, you're you're shooting advantage. a guiding bolt? Okay. Yeah. Hopefully Binks gets advantage as well off this. Um... Holy shit, monkey tits, bollocks. Um, that <laughs> is three sixes and a five. That is 23 damage, Radiant. Oh, it, uh, yeah, it notices you. <laughs> oh, hello. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Loving that, aren't you? Um, yeah, this disadvantage with water swinging is meaning that I can't really use my smites and shit. So yeah. I think that's just the best way to do it. Um, but that'll be... It's a blast it, and inflict wounds, a guiding bolt. Yeah, that's me out of spell slots. Um, so basically, you're done now. Uh, no, no, uh, not at all. Not at all. I have a weapon. Um, but because of that, I, mean, I am wise. going to draw my sword. Well, I mean, my sword is my spell focus, so I have probably had it drawn, but I'll draw my yeah, shield, yeah. I guess. Um, yeah. I'm and, assuming uh, that's it, though. I stand yeah. ready in combat uh, for the bastard. Uh, yeah, I'm just double checking. Sorry, that's why I'm taking my time. No, I don't. Right, yeah, no problem. Action. Yep, that's me there. Right. Binks, you are up. Isn't a sword and shield gonna weigh you down? Well, I had a sword and shield out anyway. The sword's so yeah, I'm big and strong. What, what, what of it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I remember correctly, he was one of the only people who rolled good on his swaying check, so he's doing yeah. fine. So I'm gonna um, obviously get back to the shark. Advantage I'm gonna the like attack. I'm gonna do a backflip underwater and. <laughs> uh, it's a neutral because again, still disadvantage. Uh, advantage doesn't stack. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that. Because he was—he already gets advantage from flanking mm-hmm. at this point now, right. so... 
Another 12. But I will bonus action do another backflip to kick him. All right. All right. That's a 13. All right, you exactly hit. I feel I felt so bad before because you were one off every single time. But yeah, the 13 keep it simple, exactly. Baby hits. cakes. Then that's a six budgeting damage. Yeah, uh, it seems un unfazed by your attack specifically. Uh, but if if that's your turn, yep. then uh, it will. It is yeah. It is pretty pissed. Uh, with Xylus right now, so it is going to attack. That is a whopping, I think, 14 to hit you, which I know misses. And so that is, uh... This, uh, this paladin is in full chain mail under the water. Yeah, I'd say <laughs> I probably should have made you swim with disadvantage because of that. Nah. Uh, I but it bosses. is going to... It is going to sort of swim around and come around to your backside, getting away from everyone else. Uh, so, Xylus, you get to do take a reaction attack. I, I don't, but, but they do. The two that... Oh, everybody oh, that's does. Yeah, which way did he swim? Can you, can you like, swim him step by step? So, yep. So he swam around oh, you. Oh, yeah. Basically, we are all taking advantage an opportunity attack. Uh, not Binks. Binks no, 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 not Binks, but everybody else. And uh, I don't think Toby has anything really to hit him with, but... No, I also to... don't have my steel defender down here because it can't swim. Yeah. Didn't you have your so... blades? Your... Yeah, don't you have a knife? You can try to yeah, stab that's the best I could do. Just try to stab the thing, yeah. We're all, all, right, we're then... all I can do with what we've got. Come on now. Yep. God damn it. Am I rolling with disadvantage? I, roll... I rolled a 12. Wait, uh... do I get an attack of opportunity here? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so I'm going to say everyone who gets it. Miles, Xylus, and uh, Toby all get attacks of opportunity. All of them are at disadvantage because... He's moving, oh, okay. so no flanking. That's a 12 to hit. <laughs> Both of them with 12s. That's nice, All isn't 12. it? Um, what did you get? I got an 18. That will hit. Yeah. I'm really pissed because I got an at 20, but it's a disadvantage, so it doesn't count. Um, work. And that is 11 damage. All right. It is not looking good. To say the least. It wasn't looking very good before, uh, but yeah. Thea, it is your turn. I want you to give me a nature check uh, or an animal handling check. Handle that animal, bitch. <laughs> Heck yeah, I'll well, animal handle that for 23. Yeah, so you're able oh, to- Oh yeah. So now with Miles sort of not being in like about to die, you're able to take a look at the shark and you can tell that it was under the effects of some druidic magic. And so, uh, it's just, it, it's more of anything, it's just pissed right now, rather than wanting to actually kill you guys. So, do with that what you will. Um, is this blocking? Uh, I'll say that, uh, it is blocking, like, there's a path you could swim underneath to go through it. Uh, but it's, like, you wouldn't be able to, like, if you were trying to shoot something at him right now, you wouldn't be able to. But I could, like, get around it? Yep. You'd come out a huh. little bit below the shark, but I doubt that that really matters that much. You said it has a spear in it? It has a spear lodged in its back and then a rope tied around it that holds the metal or the amulet that you guys are looking for. It's risky, but I'm going to come around here and I'm going to yep. try to pull out the spear. All right, give me, what do I want you to have me give? Give me a strength or athletics check. Yeah, I thought you would say that. Yeah, there's nothing really else you could do. Oh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. 17. All right, you're able to pull out the spear. Uh, it's, seems to like at first it's like thrashing a little bit when you pull it out it looks at you a little bit like like sort of trying to like in its sort of own way thanking you but at the same time it's also pissed with xylus uh because he's fucked him up so much so you can tell he would have left but you all, but I'm, xylus I'm, has done so much that I'm he's like i'm staying miles i'm gonna hold my hand up to xylus and say 
like, like in a way, and I'm gonna think. I'm gonna connect to the, the shark's mind. And it might understand me if it speaks any language at all. It might not understand me if it doesn't. But I'm just gonna be like, easy. Easy. I know he hurt you. He'll stop. Give, give me an animal handling check at disadvantage because he is That's fair. frenzied. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a nat 20, but the other one was a 15, so 21. A 21? Yeah. Uh, so it's not able to respond to you, but it understands and it sort of starts to calm down a little bit, but it's still eyeing uh, Xylus. I'm uh, just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna yeah. be like gurgling out, wait, 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 wait. And just holding my hands up to Binks and Xylus and everybody just. So it's it's eyeing you right now. It's it's like it's like narrowing its eyes. It's like, okay. And then I'll end my turn. All right. Uh, then that leads us to Miles. Uh, it seems like uh, Thea has calmed down the shark, but it also does. It also did attempt to, like, bite you in half. So. What do you want to do? I am going to... This rock is outside of the water. Right in the middle. Which one can you... I'm sorry, can you ping it one more time? Right there? That's like above the water? Uh, no, it's it's still in the water, but she swam underneath it. Because there's an opening right. underneath it. So that's, that's how she was able to get there. So... You could swim above it, but, like, you'd be too far above the shark yeah. to, like, Hit it. do anything I'm gonna, to it. I'm going to go right here. And the, what is it, it's a key, or what exactly is it that we need to get? Uh, there's an amulet currently the, an tied. Amulet? Yeah, currently tied uh, on the shark. I don't know if this is going to work, so if it doesn't, then it's a waste of a turn, but I'm going to try it anyway. Um, I'm going to use telekinetic movement to try and move the amulet and like to me, and, like off of it to my hand. Uh, give me a sleight of hand check. Okay. Um, can I just confirm, uh, Matt, normally you're able to move like a large creature with that, right? It says you can move an object or a creature with your mind. As an action, you could, you target one loose object that is large or smaller or one so willing creature. So just for creature. reference, he could move the shark. It so has to, pretty it, the sure. creature has to, be, it has to be a willing creature, though. Uh, or yeah. doesn't it aura deck save? Or aura save? No. No. Nope. Right. I should willing. Uh, well, ah. since you're doing it on the object, it can't, uh, it can't, like, give consent. Yeah. Right? So no, 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 if it's, if it's a creature, it must be willing. Uh, if yeah. It's an yeah. Object, yeah. It's yeah. And, any object I can just move, but because it's tied tightly, that's why I didn't know if I that's could do it. That's why I'm something. asking you for the, yeah, yeah, for yeah, yeah. A 10. Why don't you take the action? Yeah, I rolled 10. Let me roll something. It's gonna roll this at this point. Yeah, it's technically right. subject, it? yeah, so the shark, it feels, it's, it basically, because it's tied tight, like we said, but it is, it feels itself being tugged somewhere, uh, and it loses it again. Uh, mm. So you're unable to get it off, like you're able to pull it off, but the shark is still frenzied again. Like, it's gone <laughs> back into a frenzy. So you are holding the amulet, congratulations, but uh... Like I said, the shark is shark is still the shark. All right. As a bonus action, I'm going to use psionic recovery to get one of my die back. Nice. Uh, what do you expend to get that? I'm just wondering. Um, you just, just get a, it back. So I get I get four energy like the things I use my reaction for like the yep. protective field and the extra yeah, damage. Yeah, psionic I, powers. Yeah, I get four per long rest, but I have a bonus action that lets me regain one. I can only use, use, do that once okay. on a bonus action. I was just making sure that there was something you were doing, and this wasn't just an infinite thing you could yeah. do. Yeah, right, nope, yeah. it's a bonus action I can only do once. No, it's All just right. Uh, yep. Uh, Toby, you are up. So, what's the current state of this amulet? Is it still tied to the shark, or is it like... He was able to pull it off, but the sleight right. of hand was to see if he could do it like without the shark realizing and feeling like threatened by it, which it... It rolled very low, and so it felt threatened, and so the shark is frenzied again. Ah, uh, I'm just gonna look to Thao. Are we taking this thing out? 
Holly, you're not invited around for tea, are we? She still has her hands up, but the shark is also looking angry. Trying to so eat me, up yes. To you. <laughs> oh, the judgment call is made then. I shall swim the last of the distance up to the shark and try to do the skewering thing. Though, I do not uh, believe I will have much success. Are you, what are you trying, are you trying to hit it with a dagger again? Uh, yeah, it's basically my blade. Uh, hands, yeah. all right. Uh, you are flanking, so I will say you roll straight. I don't think it'll help you all that much, but... No, you know, it doesn't even hit at all. Yeah, I was <laughs> yeah. gonna say, it is what it is, but, you know. Uh, any bonus actions? Uh... You know what, um... Yeah, okay, Xylus gets adrenaline. Sick. Uh, you get a plus two bonus to your AC until... As your uh, my next turn. Doubles my movement speed as well, right? Yeah. Okay. Not that it will affect much, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, Speaking it. of, it is his turn. Yeah, Zyla so sort of looks to uh, Binks and uh, sort of after two of his companions have done nothing in the last round of combat and the other one has swung a dagger and somehow missed a 12 foot fish, he just sort of shrugs at Binks. <laughs> looks like it's our job again. Um, and I will uh, attack him with a sword, I guess, because I don't really know what else I'd do in this situation. Uh, oh, is anybody looking like they're about to die? The shark. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, cool. Uh, nobody on my team is looking like they're about to I die. would say roll straight. I'm not straight sure how much Zydus cared anyway. I just uh, yeah, was uh, curious. Roll sh uh, I would say roll with disadvantage because it is currently at you and you're not like on one of its edges. Oh, I wasn't planning basically. on not rolling with disadvantage. I just... Uh... Oh, another one! I want my nat 20! Uh, <laughs> it's a... Oh, my dice have been on fire. Uh, that's a 20 to hit. Dirty? Yeah, that hits. Are you using your weighted dice from last night? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> um, last yes. night, last night I rolled four d twenties and uh, four nat twenties and six rolls. It was disgusting. Um, yep. uh, but uh, today not. Uh, yes, you want a d eight out of me plus five. Um, that is a flat ten damage. Of All the, right, uh, it of is the slashing variety. I think. Yes. Yeah, it is looking. It, it's looking messed up. It's looking frenzied. Deal. Okay, um, and then I'd like to sort of. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna swim round and then try and like put my shield up sort of in front of Thayer if possible. Like, just trying to. I'm just trying to interpose myself between it and Thayer. I'll say this it is locked onto you currently. That You've is absolutely fine, but I'm sort of gesturing so, to Thayer yeah. that like. I'm sort of shrug as if to say like. I think this you is. Tried. We, we've got to. We've got to end this. Like, sorry. Yeah. Uh, my primary aim of this is to get the fish to turn around so that Bings can punch him in the back. Uh, well, it yeah, it it's yeah. Mo it moves with you. So Bings, Great. it is. Yeah. If that is uh, all from Xylus, it is Bings. Oh, Bingsy. Then. Uh, and you get it. Uh, you get advantage. Cancelled out. Disadvantage. Roll neutral. Okay. I will whop it. Hopefully. Hopefully. That's a 24 to hit. That'll hit. Good! That's six bludgeoning damage. And then I'll bonus action poke it in the eye. <laughs> From behind. <laughs> That's right. Right, yeah. Your anatomy so, is shit. Well, it's why you keep missing? Poke it in the eye. Yeah. Because I don't have like really long arms, I, I miss. Yeah, you attempt to poke it in the eye and realize that uh, it's facing it. the other uh, way. Yeah, it's, it's facing the other way. So. Uh, is that is that all? All right, it is the shark's turn. It will attempt to attack uh, Xylus. Yeah, come on. And what? Uh, that is a twenty-two to hit. Damn it! That that two on the class isn't enough. Yep. I will take it like a pussy. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's see how much damage this does. Uh, that is 25 damage. As I don't it suppose just... by any magic that is fire damage. Uh, no, <laughs> that, is to the water. Dam that is teeth damage. <laughs> Worth a try. I got All resistance right. to fire damage. Um... 
Yeah, but uh, yeah, it it clamps its mouth, its jaws around you, and it's and it starts like crushing. And there are like you. bubbles coming out the side of my face. <laughs> yep. Uh, but that is its turn. Uh, Thea. <sighs> You do you have an animal like do, like do you have any way of other than just speaking into its mind to communicate with no. it like speak with no. animals or no I don't no she's a fire bitch come on that's a lot of <laughs> right, well. do you have animal friendship I've got burning hands <laughs> <laughs> that's that's where we're at right now right do you have animal friendship no I have meteor swarm though does that help maybe it's cold amazing fire underwater and shocking robot underwater. What I mean, to be fair, Thea rolled a nat 20 on manipulating her magic, so her magic's great right now, honestly. Yeah, I just can't because, you know... Come on, Thea! Come on, Thea, you've got this! Cook There's it. unfortunately not much I can <laughs> do. Is he actually, like, grappling on to Xylus? Uh, his jaws are basically clamped around it, and Xylus is holding holding it back from basically chomping him in half. He my did the chain same shirt thing is gently Miles. crushing my ribcage here. Exactly, yeah. I'm He's looking like Frodo and a troll. Crushed alive. Then I'm going to step back. Does it go for me at all? Uh, no, uh, I'll say because it's clamped onto Xylus currently. Uh, and, and also you were the only person who attempted to be nice to it, so it, I don't think it really wants to attack you currently. Oh, it's, it's got yeah. friendship circles now, does it? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Fucking shark! <laughs> Let's go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, and I fire three scorching rays at it. Yeah! Cook it! Alright, <laughs> uh, roll straight. Um, okay, so that one's a 12 and it misses, but, uh, that's a 23 and a 16. Uh, both of go those go. will hit. Give me damage. Um, 18. This is very important. Xylus and Thea are about to form a friendship over this moment. <laughs> um, uh, she's, she's decided that I was more important than the shark, and this is emotionally very healing for me. Uh, <laughs> uh, is that your turn? Oh, is it not dead? Yes. Me, man. Uh, it, it's a beefy shark, dude. All right, its muscles are almost as big, or are actually bigger <laughs> than Xylus's. All right, like, like you can make some pretty good steaks with this thing. Uh, Miles, <laughs> it is all your right. turn. I feel like that will end mine and Thea's friendship that just started. Uh, I'm gonna go right here, and I'm swinging. All right, you uh, roll straight because whoop, whoop, whoop. flanking all that. It's a 22, sorry, not 20, 20 to hit. Come on, boy. That will hit. Can he do it? You can do it. Don't skew me. Tw Ooh. 12 damage. Plus, I'm going to add damage. Yeah. All add right. Some more. Uh, how, you, it's plus four base, right? Yeah, another All nine. Right. All right. How, describe this damage? shark's crazy. demise. Yeah. I'm going to look at, um... I'm gonna look at Bane. And DC? That's really quite. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite oh, underwhelming! What timing? No! No! <laughs> no! How do you wanna do this? Uh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Deuces! No, no, he'll be back in a second. He'll be back in a second. He's yeah, he'll be back in a second. I just wanna make sure. Reaction. Uh, uh, Josh and Jamal, would you be able to go for just a little bit longer? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright. Uh, there's not much left, it's uh, just this next part, I'd, I'd rather not do it. While start. he's stabbing it, I'm gonna touch myself gently on the chest, and stroke my chest, um, like that. Right. I'm casting, I'm using my own hands. Yeah, <laughs> he's yeah. back! Oh my god. He's like, curse. I, I don't know, I don't know how this happens every that, time. That was the best timing uh, ever. It's like, how do you want to do this? I don't. Oh, good. <laughs> Did you, did you hear anything I said? Nope. No. Uh, no. I look you, at Binks, as soon worryingly. As you were like, I, I, you were like, I look at Bink. Boom, done. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I looked at Binks and I winked and I said, uh, this is how you stab in the eye and I sick my sword right through the eye. All right. With that, you've killed the shark. Do we uh, it lets go. Yeah, it lets go of uh, its jaw and uh, Xylus, you're able to get out. Uh, and looking around, there's not much except for... <laughs> This light that you see. Sorry, hold the phone, hold the phone. We're not going anywhere quite yet. Um, I expend my 10 
points, I'm looking pretty fucking battered to shit. Oh yeah, um, I know. Do we have any? I'll give Xylus a level one cure wounds. I will. Give we you got the, the amulet. Let's I get out. I will give you the biggest hug of your life, and sort of look at you, and you are useful. <laughs> give you a hug. <laughs> Eleven. Okay. Oh fuck! That is, that is beautiful. That is, that is really beautiful. I'm loving that. Um. Okay, cool. And then I would like to use my divine sense to see if there's anything nefarious in the area. I'm well aware that it won't. That, that, well, I'm fucking hoping there's no fiends or undead or anything else around here. But you do be... sense something. Oh, God. Um, a but celestial a fiend or an undead within 60 feet of me? That's... You sense... You, all right, you don't sense... You sense celestial, like, presence. Oh. The angels are with me. I shall. Yeah, sure. Uh, but, uh... Onwards. Yep, so the the next area that you guys could go... Or, the, like, the be the best way to go would be, well, right... Left, right? No. Oh, here, let me fully show it. Ah. Yeah, that's a yeah, roundabout. I don't do circles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a roundabout. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. So this... So that... Uh, so this way is the best way through. Give me a little... Uh, give me, a, like, a little dex <coughs> check. Give me a dex check, not save. All of us? Yeah, everyone give me one. That is a 14 dexterity check. 12. I'm so sorry, Josh. 12. <laughs> What'd you get, James? You got a 12? Alright, uh... So everyone's able to make it through relatively well. Binks gets a little bit stuck trying to get through. Uh, I he's got able this to... fat ass torso through. My little cat, my my little cat boyfriend didn't. Apparently I'll not. Around. I'll turn around and give him a hand. Come on, come on. Yeah, you're, you pull him out. Uh, here, I'll just. Yeah, Miles makes it through just fine as well. There, uh, there he is. So I'm just going to move. We're making our way down paths. Yep. Swimming fast. Give me a second. Swimming fast. Coral past. Oh, and I'm hoebound. You're hoebound? Well, shit. Hoebound, yeah. <laughs> where where are the hoes at? Whoa, Holy hell. Now. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Right, Don't right. we already have the amulet? Isn't that what we yeah, came I'm, down I'm, for? I'm holding it. Oh. As you guys enter this sort of area, uh, it was a slim path, right? That's why you had to do the dex checks to get through. Uh, you come up into a cave, and <clears throat> the watery environment gives way to uh cave actually hold on let me change the music real quick this is uh, a bit a little dramatic yes yeah it's a <laughs> little dramatic let me change it for a second <laughs> it's little mummy <mermaid> time <laughs> all right uh the watery environment gives way to a cave dotted with trees and pools of water the walls are covered in vines of green ivy interspread with colorful flowers the part of the cavern is open to the sky. In the middle of the cavern is a sphere of pale light surrounding a crystal pedestal, upon which rests a golden pendant attached with a fine golden chain. What would the party like to do? Uh, I'm gonna gesture towards to Binks and then towards the glowing light and sort of as if to question if it's something from the Everlight. And then uh, I'm probably just gonna hold my sword and sort of speak out to God and question. You know, Everlight, is this. Is this you? Is this from you? You get no response. I'm going to hold up the amulet and see if anything happens. Again, no response. As I look around, is anybody from the party trying to, like, touch it? No, I'm just... I'm hanging I'll touch back. It. I'll put my hand forward and try Wait, to touch it. Wait, are you sure it. that's a good idea? Yes, I'm sure, and I touch it. I'll grab Binks' hand. <laughs> Alright. Are we dead? As yeah, we all die. <laughs> End Shit. of campaign. Yes. Give me fucking hell, Miles. Uh, every time. <laughs> yes, every the, time. 
The light around the pedestal fades as a spectral figure in the form of a male human rises from the amulet. He is dressed in leather armor and a tattered red cape and wears a shield. His face is framed by curly brown hair and bears a and bears a sad expression. He pleads, I am imprisoned. Please help me. Suddenly, the ground vanishes beneath your feet and you fall, tumbling through a vortex of golden light. You fall deeper, 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 and then suddenly stop. The golden light subsides and you find yourself suspended in a pitch black expanse. You feel the water around you. A vermin light appears in the distance, illuminating the same figure who is shackled to the ground by disgusting strands of a flesh crimson substance. He gazes, he raises his gaze to the heavens and sobs, choking out, Moonweaver, I beg you, guide those with power to save me from the sight where I first prayed to you. He looks around and his eyes settle on you. Oh gods, there you are. My name is Axon. I'm lost in the darkness. Long ago, I prayed to the change bearer in the heart of the temple of evil. I beg you, take my jewel and... You feel consciousness leaving you as the pressure of the water were crushing the life out of you. His voice is the last thing you hear before you pass out. Please, save me. And with that, Duff, we end. Duff, just to clarify two things. First of all, was it just Miles that saw that or all of us? Everyone saw right. that. Secondly, do you have a little button next to wherever that speech was that says display in VTT? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> um, to save us from taking all the notes. Um, yes. We can now read over that in our own time so that because that, yep. that was a long speech. It was um, a long speech. Oh, indeed. epic. Epic. So but we just we've had like a group vision, right? Session. Yep, you had a group Sick. vision. And we leveled up. Uh and you leveled up. Oh we did level up. I was just you joking. Did level up. Sick. No. You uh you know, you guys leveled up. Uh so uh I will come to MVPs. We will come first to the man who almost died at the very start of combat. <laughs> Miles. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was me. Um, <laughs> um, <coughs> Your MVP. Uh, that literally, what we just, that last two seconds we just did was actually really cool. I feel like that's going to set up a lot of what mm -hmm. we're about to do. Whoever the heck this excellent dude is. I I said, I probably, yeah. yeah, I probably said his name that's wrong. Okay. Whatever his uh, name is. But yeah. I feel like, I don't know, that, that was... Elixian. I wasn't expecting something like that seemingly yeah, important to happen right now. So. That's why I wanted to go a few more minutes because yeah, I wanted yeah. to the end of session, not yeah. the start of next yeah, session. Yeah, that that was, really I like that. That was, I like so that. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, we will go with uh, the man who couldn't hit anything, uh, <laughs> Toby. A water segment with <laughs> one person focused primarily on um, shock and you know lightning damage. And a well-known fire user. It's <laughs> always been in every campaign a fire user. <laughs> How wonderfully gimped we must all feel to have two people to struggle so not much only that, in an I did thing. great. I don't know what you're yeah. talking about. But not only that, but we've also got so many people who swing melee weapons and like disadvantage in the water for all of us. I knew I should have rubbed my conk. Um, to be fair, I thought, uh, to be fair, I, when I first read through this, uh, like, preparing this, I thought that there was going to be a dry section eventually, right? That, like, there would, <laughs> there would just be multiple swimming sections, and I was like, oh, they're gonna be fine. Then I, then as we were playing through it, I realized, oh no, this is all water. You are all, this is, it was, hey, but it was fun. It was nice seeing everyone, like, uh, it was nice seeing the big damage dealer 
only being able to hit once or twice, which is uh, Xylus with his spells. Oh, yeah, well, I've got burst, but it's you... I don't doesn't really happen no, that, until five. Yeah. yeah, that's... Yeah, but... Uh, Oh, and did I also mention about the fact that I couldn't bring the Steel Defender down because the Steel Defender cannot fucking spin. That is getting gimped. <laughs> yeah, is... I, it does get yeah, a swim speed, but I think it's, it's a level 6. Yeah, it, it's, I know it takes a couple levels. Keo had one, I remember. Yeah. Uh, we'll come to the man who kept hitting wrong body parts. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Josh, you good? He's very oh, tired. something in my eye. Okay. Is that your MVP? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so my MVP is actually a joke that Darth made that no one reacted to, and I don't think Darth realized how good it was. And that was when, um, in combat, uh, Jamal couldn't really do anything. And um, Darth was like, yeah, you're pretty much fucked in the ass. Speaking of, Xylish, you're up. And, uh, <laughs> so and no one said anything. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah you know, I, I i'm gonna be honest i completely forgot that i said that uh but uh I'm we'll come in the to the chest by a shock <laughs> uh we'll come to the person who doesn't understand how fire works underwater <laughs> laura i mean i i do have to agree with matt that that last section was like whoa but i mean it, it, it's gotta be i hit the shark in the kneecaps <laughs> the shins. The, the shock with the shins. The shins, yes. Yeah. The shins. Yes. I just... Yeah, the, our very was... first combat also. I'm really happy to have combat. I was ready mm. for it. Yeah. Had yeah, to be that's... underwater, of course, but you know. Yep, I, I just had to give you guys that really good first <laughs> combat. Uh, and lastly, James. Um, yeah, heads up to the writing. Like, I think for anybody who's critical role-y, um, they, they can remember back to these sort of epic Matt moments. And it, feel, it felt like one of those moments, right? When you were reading and it was just like, oh my god, this is happening. Like, we're the, we're the people. We're the important. Um, I really liked when we were doing the arm wrestling challenge and you said, it's very hand in hand. Uh, meaning it's even, but uh, it just, uh, it was, uh, <laughs> when is arm wrestling not hand in hand? That was beautiful. Um, Jamal trying to cheat at arm wrestling for no reason other than he felt like it. Um, nothing in his <laughs> yes. character sheet that says that. Um, love that. Um, but my favorite moment was when, uh, uh, when we were talking about the possibility of not using animal uh, handling, but instead using burning hands and Matt just went, Maybe it's cold. <laughs> it's just cracked me up. Um, so yeah, uh, all in all, I've really enjoyed the session. I completely wasted that bless. Uh, I put it on three people who succeeded their dex check by like 10 <laughs> points, um, which meant I didn't have my spell slot, but fuck oh, it, well. we had fun, right? Um, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I'm really uh, hoping there's a little bit, because uh, obviously it's a very short chapter. It's a little bit yeah. more like uh, less terrifying combat. Like I'm looking forward to some... You know, more of the swarm of fish and less of the fucking demon shark. Uh. Yeah, which, uh, yeah, which I would say that was probably my MVP. Uh, I hadn't really, like, I prepared, obviously, I'd prepared the encounters, mm. right? Uh, and the fish, you know, completely fine. Didn't expect, like, I expect, I'm going to be honest, I expected uh, uh, Xylus to just kill it in one turn, honestly. I wouldn't I attack on the water with a sword unless I ran out of spells. Well, that, yeah, that's that's true. But at the same time, I was also just like, he, like, he'll do something. Like, James will figure something out. Like, he's he's one shot enough of the things that I've thrown at him <laughs> oh. that he'll figure something out. Uh, but then the shark, attack, realizing literally as it went to attack that it was attacking with advantage. And then also, I didn't look at how much damage it was doing previously so i saw 3d10 i was like oh and then i rolled it i think the first time too i forgot to add in the plus six that it had <laughs> which i think technically miles would have gone down that way oh, damn. Uh, but yeah but still that was also just a com completely a hilarious thing where i was just like all right roll damage oh i would have been on one <laughs> hp with that plus yeah. six i would have been on one nice yeah uh, you are but, very uh, much misjudging Zydus, by the way he's not a sort of big bursty damage he's very much like a consistent from the back sorcerer who just will occasionally judge a bitch in melee range it's just weird because i started with the paladin levels um but yeah, it's, yeah it's, i'm true. not sitting there that's that's throwing up um, smites yet really quickly um are we taking air size or feet uh you can do uh, either or i'm fine oh i forgot with about it. that yeah uh but, like I <laughs> but with that again we will end uh i'll hand it back to james yeah um we will end there uh i think that our friends last time on 
are available right now. Let me just check that they're not right at the end of this session. I don't think they are. I think they're about halfway through. Um, they are two hours in. Um, they uh, are... I'm pretty sure this is the grudge match today. So we're going to go there. Um, last time on. Um, it's fucking wonderful to be back at this table. Uh, we are going to miss a session in two weeks. But I'm pretty sure we'll be here next week. Um, so thoroughly looking forward to that. Uh, in terms of viewers, uh, Derek and Kennel, thank you very much uh, for your contribution. I'm sorry I was a little bit not with it. I still haven't worked out where to put my chat um, with the new Roll20 setup. But uh, I hope everybody had fun watching. We certainly had fun playing. And we look forward to seeing you soon. If you guys would like to say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. We shall see you soon.